Hello, I'm Matthew from Ludovacosate4 and today I'm going to give you an overview of the game Q-Birds. So Q-Birds is a set collection game, it's a card game. It plays with uh, two to five players, ages eight and up, and it plays for around 20 minutes. So in this game, you're going to uh, try to collect different birds and place them in front of you and you're going to do that by discarding birds of the same species. So how do I get these birds? Well, I'm going to play birds from my hand onto the board and, and this will allow me to get cards from the board. So we're going to play in rounds and rounds are going to be divided in player turns and we play basically until player has no more cards in hand, which triggers the next round. On my turn, I'm going to have two actions. The first one is mandatory and the second one is optional, but allows to win the game. So you want to do this as often as possible. The first action, the mandatory action, is playing a bird species from my hand onto the board. So I have to select a bird species from my hand and uh, place it on the left or the right of a row. And this will allow me to take birds. So if I match a bird that is already on the row, I'm going to take all the birds that are um, between the birds I've placed and the birds uh, that match. So for example, if I place an owl here, I'm going to get these two parrots, which are good because I have parrots in hand and I can uh, basically build my set collection. I could also get, for example, this, uh, these birds, but I'm going to choose the parrots for now. So I tighten the line once I've done this, and if there is only one species, I'm going to flip a new card, uh, place it on left or right, I, I choose, and then if there are two bird species, I can move on back to my second action. That said, I might be unlucky and have something that doesn't match. Maybe I don't want to play all of my uh, set collection, because if I have a set, I don't want to discard it all. So for example, I have this lone magpie here, and it doesn't match anything on the board, so I'm still going to place it, and because I'm placing it and I'm not getting anything in return, I'm going to draw two cards from the stack as a uh, compensation. The second action I'm going to perform, uh, which is optional, is making a flock of birds. So you may notice that all of the cards have numbers on them, and the numbers are the same for uh, each species. So for example, every owl has three, four, and every duck has four, six. What that means is basically, if I want to score owls, I need at least three owls to score one, and four owls to score two. So in this case, I have four parrots, and I'm going to score the parrots because they are 4-6, so I'm going to play them to keep one of them because it's the small flock, and then this is my score. I get one uh, parrot. I could do a big flock, so for example, if I had three flamingos, they have two three, so I'm going to keep two flamingos, which is really great because this is what allows me to win the game. Once I have completed my first action and maybe my second action, I pass turn on to the next player. So, uh, how do we win the game? We basically win this game if we have seven different species, or if a player has uh, two species with at least three birds in them. In that case, that player wins. The game can end another way. If we cannot deal hands to all the players, uh, the game will end. And in that case, you're going to count the number of bird cards that the players have collected, and the player with the most birds has won. That's it, you know almost everything about Q-Birds. So in this game, you basically have to build set collection, but you also have to pay attention to what has been scored, because what has been scored is not in the game anymore, and it kind of changes the way the statistics work. So bye-bye, and see you on Udavox.fr.